Um, there's not too much to know about the spongy bone anatomy except this word called the trabeculae. These are the, um, the lattice of rods and plates in the spongy bone. It's called trabeculae. I'll show you what that looks like right here. Okay. And it still has osteocytes and lacuna. It still has osteoclasts, but the other anatomy parts are very different. So make sure you know that osteoblast builds bone tissue. Um, bone deposition is called an osteoclast um, carves it out. Um, bone reabsorption. What organic substances compose it? Collagen. Um, and one inorganic is calcium and phosphate. Those are the main ones. Okay. Chondroblast. Okay. So for bone to become calcified, hardened, it starts out as cartilage. Uh, cartilage cells, mature cartilage cells are called chondrocytes. And they develop from chondroblasts. Chondroblasts build cartilage. Notice the commonality there. Blasts build the cartilage. Chondrocytes are the mature cartilage cells. They also stay in lacuna, and eventually they're going to become bone calcified. So they maintain the matrix. Um, yeah. Here's a table that compares bone connective tissue to hyaline tissue, hyaline cartilage connective tissue. So the cells that form the matrix that build it are the osteoblasts and the chondroblasts, the mature cells, osteocytes, and the chondrocytes. They both um, have mature cells that live in lacuna. In bone connective tissue, we have calcium. We don't have that in cartilage. Very important difference here. In bone tissue, it's we have blood supply. Cartilage is avascular, meaning no blood supply. So you should be able to answer those questions. And lastly here, growth. Cartilage growth. So cartilage cells first have to grow. And this takes place during embryologic development. I have a pig embryo in my room. I'll show it to you. If I don't remember, remind me that it's starting the process. Uh, there is some cartilage growth going on, and then there's some uh, bone growth going on. But it begins in the embryo stage. The lengthwise growth of the bones is called interstitial growth. And it occurs at those areas, those cartilage plates. The other type of bone growth that goes throughout an uh, individual's lifetime is called appositional growth. That's the the width-wide growth of bone, and it occurs at the cartilage's outer side. Um, and that is the end of part three.